There's more truth and wisdom in fantasy today than there is in dealing with facts. I'm Jeff Joe. And I'm Rick Levine for Planet Pulse on this Thursday, May 22nd. Fantasy rules, but you know, that's what happens when you sink into the water. Anyone who's done any scuba diving knows that when you're beneath the water, when you're beneath the surface of the water, it's all dreamy and imaginative, and today is a visit to water world. Exactly, the moon is in watery Pisces today, which is wonderful for tapping into realms beyond the ordinary, but it's not an ungrounded water world today. We're not gonna drown in it. There's real wisdom in, and practical, non-verbal information from that moon in Pisces. Well, yeah, we're only a couple of days away from a, um, I guess a once every 10 year, usually in that range, trying between Jupiter and Saturn. And Jupiter, the planet of expansion and optimism and big ideas, Saturn, the planet of how do you make them real, the groundingness, the, the, the stability, the structure that you were just talking about. And the moon in dreamy, imaginative water Pisces today forms a trine with expansive Jupiter in watery um, a Cancer and a trine with Saturn in watery Scorpio. We have this grand water trine that gives us the ability to run those emotional circuits of dreams and imagination and yet make it real. Yeah, there's a practical like side today. to all of this. Yeah, and I think an important issue is that Water doesn't move quickly. Jupiter and Saturn work best with patience. Give yourself time to soak in the dreams and fantasies and inspirations of today, and then continue to fertilize the soil in which you plant those seeds, and you're likely to see some desirable results. I agree there is a caveat, or at least a trap, and that trap is that Venus forms a half square with Neptune. Mm. Neptune's still in Pisces. Venus is attractive and 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 likes, uh, Venus is what we like. In, in Aries, Venus wants to be a bit more spontaneous. I think that the freedom of, of, of imagining, of fantasizing, anything that we want of that Venus half square to Neptune can trick us into wanting something and expecting it immediately. Agreed, and you talked yeah. about the patience, I mean, water can can move fast. I mean, a waterfall, white rapid, you know, white water rapids. But, but this water, that. not yeah. today. And I think that the trap is that we can trick ourselves into thinking that that if we want something, we can get it right now, and we don't have to wait. And that's exactly the wrong end of the spectrum to be today. Today is that is the float with the water. Go slowly, dream big, and don't expect it all right away. I'm Rick Levine. And I'm Jeff Jower for Planet Pulse.